Well, I think it's kind of most amazing, McCoy. We've, uh, we've been doing this for 45 years. And one of the main, main things, that main reason we're stopping here is that uh, we have two new albums, Brothers Four, Golden Anniversary, and uh, Between Old Friends. Old Friends. Yeah. And, uh, and I think one of the kind of neat things that I've kind of discovered as we've gotten here is that, um, that, it's, that today could be our best day, that uh, tomorrow could be our best day. The song we're about to sing could be the best performance. The song we're about to write could be the best song we've ever written. And I, I think that's, that, that's pretty amazing uh, to be at this place in, uh, in our friendship after 45 years. Well, it's unique in that sense because uh, I mean, people have friends, uh, you know, that, that uh, they've had for the last 40, 50 years. But um, ours just stayed somewhat unique, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just in the way, just in the just in the way we were, were together. You know, it's uh, you know, brothers from different mothers or something like yeah. that. So they say, but uh, the connection there is. Just amazing. I mean, yeah. to me. Um, yeah, me too. Not much of a social person, you know. Friendships don't come that easily <laughs> to me. I mean, and, and, true friendships. Yeah. And in this case, it's a true. And there's a difference between friendships and true friendships. Well, this is a true friendship. This is one where, you know, if if you didn't see somebody for, if I didn't see you for um, a year, uh, the Good day luck. that I saw Good you, luck. which will never happen. Yeah. Uh, but the, but the day that I I did see you, I mean, it would just it'd be like yesterday. Is the last time I saw you. Uh -huh. I mean, I think we're that we're that close. Uh, okay. Doing as much as we've done, um, primarily a lot of singing. That, a lot of uh, music. Yeah. Um, I probably know you in that respect better than you know yourself. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. Uh, it's just that uh, that com the, the camaraderie and the feel we've developed for each other. Um, you know, relying on each other, uh, taking care of each other, witnessing mm -hmm. to each other, yeah. um, is uh, sort of that uh, what molds that that friendship together. Yeah. Kids a, together now growing old together. Yeah, that's right. Quite a journey. Quite <laughs> yeah. a journey. Starting when we were seventeen years old. Mm -hmm. Well, 18, I was seventeen. 18. Excuse me. I was seventeen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, was I, was old, I was always the older one. Uh, yeah. 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 From yeah. The, the time we yeah you know, we met at the uh, Phi Gamma Delta. Yeah. yeah. So, we met in the fall of 1965 in uh, University of Washington, uh, Husky Stadium, and then we en ended up being in the same fraternity. And my uh, my memory is is that we were because we were playing football. Uh, they had these special places called the the maids' quarters where you where you didn't have a sleeping porch, but you had you had a couple of bu a bunk bed with uh, one other with an upperclassman. And we were next door neighbors, but you used to come in on Saturday nights, and you'd ra you'd play the radio so loud, you drove me nuts. I wasn't I the best neighbor. Yeah, I, mean, I remember sense. correctly. And then one Saturday night, uh, I was I remember being in this in one of these rooms, and a guy named Jim Maloof, Dick McAuliffe, and I can't remember who else, but we were singing some songs. The door was shut, and it opened up, and this voice with this harmony. This this um, amazing addition to this probably a Tom Paxton song that we were singing, and I turned and looked over, and I thought, well, it's my obnoxious neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it wasn't long afterwards. Well, you wouldn't talk to me the other way. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't long afterwards that we uh, that we formed a group, and there were four of us, just like the brothers four who had formed in the at the. Uh, Fiji House about ten years earlier, and uh, we did we did a little bit of singing here and there, and especially the serenades, where we would uh, go over to the sororities and kind of make some make some music. That I way. would. We had a uh, we had a guitar and a gut bucket and yeah. four voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. And, and big eyes. <laughs> and, big, and big eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And picking out folk songs. Yeah. yeah. And I don't. And I think. Uh, I think it was definitely not, not going to be a career. It was not that serious, but it was an important part of life. And, and, uh, and then in the, in the spring of 1968, we got invited to, to go to L.A. And uh, your all-American college show. 
And, uh, they, and what they did, that was kind of, uh, it was like Ted Mack in the original Amateur Hour, long before uh, in these most, most recent sh uh, talent shows. And uh, they were looking for an all-American look. And we, they did two shows per time, four acts each. And the other seven acts were all looking for managers, agents, trying to get their start in L.A. And then there was us who sat yeah, by the pool. With, with the big eyes still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we, uh, I'll be darned, we won uh, our our little segment. We won our, our show. segment. Yes, we did. Yeah, thousand bucks and a big prize, big trophy, and all of a I sudden, think we, did we sing Valley Forge? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 our fathers, yeah, bled, our at fathers bled at Valley Forge. Yeah. In fact, when we did that uh, a year later, and I can't really tell whether it was serious or not, is that I met I met Milt Oaken a year later after joining the Brothers Four, and uh, and I said, well, yes, Mr. Oaken, and he was uh, he was John Denver's music. Well, at that time, he was working with Peter, Paul, and Mary, and all the folk groups. And I said, well, Mr. Oak, nice to, to meet you. And he said, and I said, well, we, you know, we used to sing uh, uh, songs that you had, you, know, you had done. And in fact, we were on this All-American College show. And he said, yeah, you stole my arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> so to this day, I'm not sure whether he was serious or not. But, uh, and then we, uh, we went on into the semifinals or into the next round. And I remember uh, Karen, Carpenter on drums. Wearing jeans and a sweatshirt when she was practicing. I remember that. <laughs> Playing yeah. Dancing in the Street yeah. with her brother Richard on piano. Yeah. yeah we didn't have a chance. <laughs> we, we and they didn't it. win. You know, no. They yeah. didn't win. I can't remember. It was the... It was the the uh, girl that wore the bear suit at UCLA. Yeah, she was yeah. a singer. I it was think. the Bruin. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Bruin. She did a yeah. show team. She was the winner. Yeah, in, she, in was, the, she was the winner. Yeah. So we, we lost to the, to the Carpenters and she won. I don't know. So, yeah. I'm, so that was that. That was pretty amazing. And then we... Uh, that fall, with the fall of our senior year, we, were, uh, we went on to, uh, uh, we got a job at Alpenthal. Yes, we did get a job at Alpenthal. Well, we, well we, we won the audition. We were hired. We won the audition. We were hired. Yeah. Why, why didn't we play? Oh, that's right. You abandoned us. <sighs> or disbanded, yeah. Because then in, in, uh, in 19, well, in that fall, uh, the Brothers Four needed, needed a new guy. They stopped in Minneapolis. They asked the guy. They asked the guy there, who this is to sort of sort of show you how your life kind of turns on a little thread. They asked the guy whether this whether he wanted to join the group. He said, "I'll call you back in a couple of weeks." Brothers Four were coming back from the Bahamas. The last job they worked as the original guys. The phone doesn't ring. The phone doesn't ring. I get audition. Do okay. In, in that, that uh, the first of the year, January, because the Brothers Four had a gig at the Lake City Elks, the middle of January, and they had to, get, they had to replace the, the Mike Kirkland by, by then. So the phone rings early in January of 1969. It's John Denver saying he wants the job. Too late, not available. Already given to Mark Pearson. Yeah, yep. But the, 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 to, just to take a step back, when... <laughs> Our group was called the Morning Ride. Morning Ride, yeah. and we had this uh, this gig at uh, at Alpenthal, singing Sat on the week weekends. Weekly, yeah, Saturday singing nights. Singing on the weekends, yeah. Saturday nights. Yeah. Good gig. skiing for free. Yeah, food, free food, food free, free beer, food, yeah. free yeah. beer. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was for you know the college guys, 21, 22 years old. It was great. Yeah. Was, our hopes were high. Yeah, until they were dashed by you. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, in another forty five years, I figure you'll forgive me. Uh, well, no, I haven't. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, well, but see now, now I see. I've I've thought quite a bit about this over the last forty four <laughs> years. You've had time, believe me. And uh, see, the thing that I the thing that I want to start talking about next is that is that those it, it, in the early set or like seventy one and seventy two in those years, um, I, I decided I'm going okay. I'm not going to be in show business. Not going to be in music that long. So, I'll, I'll try it on my own. And uh, Bob Dylan's brother, David Zimmerman, was my manager. And, and, but to kind of get those things rolling, uh, we did a, I did a lot of work. 
at uh, the Orr House and the, and the hindquarters. So you got your ski gig. I did. I, I was a weekend guest with you. No, not well, a weekend guest at the, at the hindquarters. In Seattle. But in, the Orr House, in, we did months Sun, at a time. No, in Sun Valley, we, it was, yeah, that, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. sang, uh, what, five nights a week and four sets I think a six, night. I think six nights a week. Four sets a night. Yeah, yeah. That was brutal. Skied. <laughs> Just brutal. Stayed at the Powder Horn. How did we survive yeah. that? I yeah. have no idea. But yeah. no, Stayed that, at the Powder Horn. That was fine. In fact, I even, yeah. Yeah, I, I even stayed on once our... Our yeah, month was I over remember. there then. Yeah. Sort of. And I remember that's where I met Pat Sands. And uh, yeah. he, he came. In fact, he, he used to tell the story. We, would, we were singing, and you said, hey, that's Pat Sands. There was somebody talking, and, I, and, and Sands, he, he never forgot this part where I said, hey, Pat Sands, quiet those guys down. He went, are you kidding? <laughs> 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 he thought that was pretty hilarious. Oh. And so, so that, in that, in that, that part of my career, I felt, uh, as I kind of tried to, I tried to work, make it as a songwriter, as a performer, or a singer, and, and, and getting some tracks in here and there. And then in 1978, uh, you came down uh, to L.A., where I was living at the time, and we did a, we did a pretty memorable concert uh, at the Brentwood Playhouse. And, uh, and in a way, it was... Uh, was sort of the end of that of a of that first ten years in the, in the in music and and it was a, looking back on it now thirty five years later it was a, it was an awfully special time and a, really a, just a, a neat period at the end of that sentence was well yeah because you know when we when we started that uh, uh, to, to get up to Brentwood and when we started that uh, the Orr House and the Hindquarter thing that's kind of where you and I developed our singing style together. Yeah. That's, where we, that's where we figured out, okay, who's doing what and how we're yeah. going to do this. And yeah. um, I mean, that's, that's where you and I began. Right. Um, and it's, gosh, it's come to this. It's come to this <laughs> couple old guys in wicker chairs. Yeah, 45 years later in wicker chairs. Yeah. Yeah. 